you want to join Pinterest as a business, the first thing you want to do is create an account. So go ahead and type in business.pinterest.com on your browser and you'll be directed to this page you see now. If you already have a personal Pinterest account, you can also choose to convert it to a business account by clicking here. For the purposes of this video, we will start from scratch, so go ahead and click on the Join as a Business button. Next, you will need to fill out some information, like the email address you want to use for this account, business name, type, etc. Here you'll also find a link to the Pinterest Business Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. When you're done, click on Create Account. Next, Pinterest will ask you to pick five topics that interest you in order to customize your home feed. You can either search for a topic or browse through all of them and pick your five. When you're done, click continue and then you'll be asked to get the Pinterest browser button. This button allows you to pin anything instantly to your profile, no matter where you are in the web. I find this extension quite useful, so I'll go ahead and get it now. Now we're all set. The home feed is already populated with some interesting pins. To get a closer look, simply click on the image. In order to save or repin, you will need to create an appropriate board to add it to. These boards are the bread and butter of Pinterest. You will notice two notifications on your home feed, one asking you to try Pinterest ads, the second asking you to confirm your website for analytics. We'll explore these options further in our next video. What you want to look at now is your profile, and you do that by hovering over the profile icon on the top right. As you can see, there's still some information missing. So let's click on this gear icon here and add more stuff. Here you'll see your business account's basics, but we want to give more life to our profile. So let's click over here and upload a profile photo. Make sure to use a recognizable business image. And just like Instagram, Pinterest crops your image in a circle, so keep that in mind. Next, under picture, you can edit your username. Under that, add a quick description of your business, your location, and website. We'll go over confirming your website in our next video. Next is Showcase, where you pick one of your boards to feature at the top of your profile. Right now, I can only choose from one because I haven't made more, but you can choose up to five boards. So let's go back to our profile settings and save. There you have it. You have just created a new business account for Pinterest. Continue on with this video series where we will go over more of Pinterest settings, ads, and analytics.